Hello everyone, Genshin Intel has revealed Goru's kit and leaks, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at his kit and see what Goru has to offer. So first things first, let's take a look at his normal attacks. They're nothing too special. These are basic. Uh, that's basically it for the normal attacks. For his skill, he does AoE Jilo damage and sets up a war banner. So what this war banner will do is it'll give you buffs depending on how many Geo characters you have in your team. So if you have one Geo character, you have a you get a defense bonus. If you have two Geo characters, you get a uh, interruption resistance. Having three Geo characters is going to go ahead and give you a Geo bonus damage. Only one of these can exist on the field at a time, so it's kind of like a kind of like Sayu's doll, but for Geo. Next we have his ultimate. This is going to create an albedo field and his burst is 80 cost or 80 energy cost. And one thing I want to talk about the skill real quick is um the cooldown and the duration are both 6 seconds. So you'll or 10 seconds, so you'll always have a buff up. Next I wanted to talk about the elemental burst. Uh what this will do is it's an albedo field and it'll give you buffs depending on how many geo characters you have in your team. If you have a uh, one character, it's supposed to Or if you have one character, it's going to give you a uh, crystallized collapse, which does, it's like Albedo's Field. You get Albedo's Field if you have one Geo character in your team. If you have uh, two Geo characters, I believe, it's going to go ahead and suck up all the Geo crystallized shields. And this field is also going to move along with your character. Um, so take this with a grain of salt, because I'm not sure if I'm... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm comprehending this properly, but what it's essentially going to do is do damage over time, as well as... Uh, Attack alongside your main character and follow them around and sucking crystallization field uh, shields. So next, let's take a look at his skills, his uh, his skills, constellations, all the good stuff. So for his passives, um, we have whenever his uh, ultimate is unleashed, you get a twenty five percent damage or defense increase. So what this is gonna do is give you uh, more defense for your other geo characters like Ito, Noel, Ningguang. For the characters that really do need the defense, this is gonna help a lot. Albedo. Next is a favor repaid. This one's going to give Goro scaling off his defense. So his elemental skill is going to scale with 156 of his defense, which is a lot. And then his uh, ultimate, the Crystal Collapse, is going to give him the Crystal Collapse damage. So the Albedo burst side of his ultimate is going to give him 15.6% off of defense. Lastly, his Seekers of the Shrine, Shinies is going to give him the uh, display the resources unique to Inazuma on the map. So that's all we have for Goro's kit. Um, it looks like he's the start of a Golden Trinity team with all the other Geo characters. Next, let's take a look at what Goro needs in order, or what you need to pre-farm in order for Goro. So Goro, uh, thank you to uh, Genshin Mains for your guides. Goro is gonna go ahead and uh, take the Sango Pearl. So you're gonna need to farm those because there's only 44 in the world. You should be able to knock this out with three people's worlds or in a, about a week or so. Next, he has the Teachings of Light, which is available Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. These should be your main focus if you plan on using Goro extensively. He takes Senora Drops as well as the, uh, the Mechanical Hypostasis. So you're going to go ahead and farm that. And um, with, the, uh, with, the, with the new Geo characters coming up, I would recommend actually farming the... Uh, Characters or using a lot of dust to eyes off because you're gonna need a lot of these crystal things. If you plan on getting Goro to 80, you're gonna need nine chunks, nine shards, and then one of these. If you plan on getting Ito, that's another nine chunks, nine shards, and then you need six gemstones. And if you don't have Albedo, you're gonna need so many gems. So just be careful with the Geos gemstones. I know you might be running out of uh, those. Uh, getting the mats and stuff is pretty basic. We're gonna have uh, Leyline Overflow at the end of this patch too. So if you want to put that off to the end of the patch, that's perfectly fine. These banners won't come out till the end of the next patch anyways. Then you're going to need the uh, the Nucleus, the Husk, and all that from the Spectres. Spectres are pretty fine, but or spe Spectres are pretty easy to farm. They're hard to kill, but uh, just go ahead and hunt them down with your friends passively over time, and you'll get more than enough than you need for Goro. So that's going to be it for this video. You guys know basically everything you need to know about Goro. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave that in the comments for me. I appreciate you guys sticking by, and uh, you know, like, subscribe, all that. Until the next time, I'll catch you guys in the next one. So, later.